Okay. Hey. Sweet. All right. Looks like uh, looks like everything's in uh, working order. I hope. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Looking all right. Okay. Sweet. Um. Well. Hello. Uh. Hey everyone. My name is Molly James, and tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different um, from the usual. Uh, I've been... It's April 2020, which means that uh, I have had nothing to do for the past week or so, and I'm starting to go a little bit stir-crazy. So doing some streams sounds like a good time, and I thought we'd start by doing something a little different. Um, so today we are visiting a site called The Casual Collective. And this was a gaming website that I was on over a decade ago um, and played a bunch of games on here. You can see all of the games listed right here, actually. Uh, and you can still visit the site and you can still play some of these games, although uh, most of these games are Flash games, meaning that they are... Uh, I, I believe that there is not going to be support for them pretty soon. Uh, I believe Chrome is cutting support for Flash at the end of uh, 2020, um, by my understanding. So uh, we'll see. And also there's some question as to whether or not uh, the site is even going to be around for much longer, just based on kind of the things that I've been hearing about it uh, and seeing... That's not the right thing. And seeing in the Facebook group. It's still not the right thing. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're going to go through and we're going to play a bunch of these old games and just have kind of a good time. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the Casual Collective. It was a gaming slash kind of pseudo social media site. Uh, you can see you can post like a status update. Uh, um... So I can actually give a little shout out to folks and let them know that I'm streaming on my Twitch channel. Um, whether or not anyone's even like paying attention to this news feed anymore is a, a little bit up in the air, but you know, there's still some people who uh, come to the site and play these games and such. And uh, I've actually um, sent the word out and hopefully we'll get to play some of these more ambitious uh, multiplayer games. Uh, but to start off, I, I thought we'd just play a couple of the more fun single-player games uh, just to get the ball rolling. Um, you can't you can't even really make, like... Oh, yeah. Uh, the interface is super weird. Hang on. Okay, cool. Um, so this is a game called <laughs> Attack of the Buggles. Um... And the idea here is fairly self-explanatory. I was playing this game a little bit last night just to like remind myself of what the site was like and how to do things. And also so I wouldn't totally embarrass myself. Uh, although I'm, I'm absolutely going to totally embarrass myself. I haven't played most of these games in over a decade, y'all. So I'm going to be pretty bad at them. Um, eh, eh, eh. This is a very tense game. Uh, so my goal is to beat my very old high score of 1155, I guess. Uh, which is definitely going to happen. You can see my score in the top left corner there. 250, 262. Oh yeah, we're definitely, we're, we're on our way. We can make it. Um, still remember how that button works. That's good. Uh, you can see a slow time bar on the top right corner there. And that'll help us. Okay, cool. All right. Ah. This game is entirely a mouse. Ah, okay. We only have 400 points. We don't even have 400 points. 
Oh, this is going so bad. There's no way. Okay, I'll give that another try. You know what the problem is? The problem is that I've got my monitor in the wrong position. That's that's what my problem is. and easy. There we go. You know what? My hand is in a really bad position for this too because it's like it's just teetering on the edge of my desk. I don't feel like I have a stable grip on the mouse at all here right now is, is all I'm saying. Uh, I'm just going to get this upgrade real quick. I haven't done any- I haven't done my warm-up stretches. This is just a warm-up game, anyway. This is fine. This is fine. Eh. Oh, come on. Come on! That was barely anything. Alright. Gonna take a quick break, do some stretches. This is some real hardcore gaming that I'm doing right here. I'm gonna take like two or three more tries at this, and then we'll then we'll move on to something else. But I'm kind of enjoying this right now, mostly for the music. Really gotta love that old school music. All right. Oh hey, we've got critters in chat. Um, if I make desktop tower defense, will you join? Yeah, I'll join. Um, I'm gonna do like one or two more games of this uh, and we're gonna see how well I can do at this uh, Creepers game. Molly, I can't view your chat. You can't view my chat? Mm-hmm. Um, not on my channel? Are you... I think I'm on your channel. I'm sorry. I... I'm failing in my duty. You told me to moderate the chat. I mean, ideally, yes. Uh, that's Maddie back there. Everyone say hi, hi to Maddie. Maddie is my partner. Um, we're getting married in two weeks or so. That's the Approximately. plan. Approximately. Approximately two weeks. Time isn't real anymore. Yeah, time time sort of stopped happening recently. Oh, here we go. Due now to I'm circumstances. In the chat room. Awesome. Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't really know what the strat is for the time, like the slow time charge thing. Like I don't know if I'm supposed to save it or if I'm supposed to like burn it right away. And just take, and play very aggressively and take it, as much advantage of it as I possibly can. Alright. Uh, oh, that's bad. Um, okay, we're good. Cool. Probably the weirdest part of that motion when you turn into a big gobbly monster. Uh, I don't know if you can tell really, but the monster kind of lags behind a little bit of your cursor movement. Ooh, that was really close. Um, I don't remember what our old score was from a hot second ago. 401. Our, 401? Okay, yeah, so we're already doing much better than last time. Uh, oh, this is really bad. Uh, boop. Uh, I think I can make it. Yep, okay, cool. We believe in you, Molly James. You can do this. Ooh, all right, sweet. Okay, all right. Hey, look at that. We're like halfway to my old high score now. Okay. Hmm. Um, oh, come on. Uh, I really thought I was gonna slip in there. Uh, hello everyone. Evil Rubber Ducky says hello. <laughs> hello, Ducky. Um, no, that's okay. my line. That's what I said. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to. 
All right, I'm gonna give this one more try because uh, that was that was a pretty good run actually, and I'm 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 starting to find the rhythm here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one more time, and then we'll play a game of desktop tower defense. Which, again, I haven't played in a decade. I'm Is probably gonna be really bad. Is that the one really where you're a monkey and you're shooting pins at balloons? No, but it is oh. a tower defense game. Oh. Uh, in fact, I think it might be the original tower defense game. I don't quote me on that. Please, um, the original tower defense game was obviously Plants vs Zombies. <laughs> in my heart. In your heart, maybe. Plants vs Zombies was pretty nice though. It's a good game. It is a good game. I was pretty good at it once. I know. Ah. Okay. Cool. I swear I used to be really good at clearing the board with the big green monster, um, Boggle? Boggle? I don't remember now. What's the nonsense word this game has for these things? Oh. Um, uh, oop, oof. Got away with that. That was very cheeky. Uh, oop. Flash Element Tower Defense was the first standalone tower defense ever before there were Warcraft 3 mods. Oh, cool. And also, these are bugles. Thank you, critters. <laughs> I'm also going to type that. Awesome. Uh, buggles, I think, is buggles. how that's pronounced. Yes. I don't get to say bugles. I don't think you get to say bugles. Well, no. then, is he a militia buggler or a militia bugler? <laughs> Just admit that words have no meaning while you, we you, were playing magic earlier today. You, you messed me up. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> And I don't apologize. I'm not sorry. That's okay. Um, I said we were going to play that South Tower Defense after this, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You can always go back to playing this. Uh, I can. So Desktop Tower Defense, I think, is how I originally, like, got into this site, actually. Um, like, this was the first game I ever played on here, really. Um, we do want some of the sounds. I think know. I played... some of those war, uh, Warcraft tower defense mods. Quite possibly, yeah. Those were wonder- uh, if I played those now, I think my heart would just burst from sheer nostalgia. <laughs> uh, MTS said that uh, they were going to make a uh, game for us, so I'm going to wait. Ooh, DTD is Critter's favorite game on the site. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, I saw Critter's was playing this last night, too. Oh, gosh, V Banana, are the cone-shaped oh, chips... Holy crap, MTS, your high score. Bugles or buggles. <laughs> this is, this weird, like, little tap menu over here is actually one of my favorite features of oh, this man. site. Molly, we've got important questions going on in chat. I don't know if I'm qualified to answer them. Don't, don't worry about me. Just, just go play your games. <laughs> okay. Your video games. Thanks. Um... Oh, okay, sweet. So, um, MTS is in the middle of a desktop tower defense game, in which case, let's actually go quickly play another single player game. I think Bungle Connect is a single player game? I do Ooh. not remember. Um, was Minions the first standalone MOBA? That was, Whoa. that was actually going to be my next question. Oh my god, music is loud. My apologies if you are deafened. Um, no, Buggle Connect is not a... That's fine. We'll get to Buggle Connect, I assume. There are not too many... There are actually quite a few, um, single-player experiences. Yeah. Um, Stars is single-player. Ooh. Let's go check out Stars. Um, I don't remember how any of these games work. That's not true. I, I remember how... I sort of remember how desktop uh, tower defense works. Um, I could probably play an interesting desktop armada game still. That was the game that I was really into a decade ago. Um, little baby Molly. Little baby Molly. Um, okay. Well, we've got keyboard controls. I believe in you. I don't... Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna explore this. I'm just gonna explore the space a little. Uh, let's start with level one. 
Score over a thousand points by collecting stars as quickly as you can. Press space to start. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. Collecting stars. Okay, cool. Yep. Got it. Oh, so this is kind of more of like a timed challenge kind of deal. Okay. Uh, can I... Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, okay. I've already got a thousand points, so you're just gonna... Okay, this is, this is timed, but it's not timed the way I thought it was timed. Cool. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's try something a little more... oomph. With a little more oomph to it. Okay, let's give this a shot. Um, will I die if I fall into the void? No. Cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a thing. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay, I'm gonna embarrass myself really dramatically here. Alright, that one wasn't too hard. Alright, you, come on. Uh, see, games, games like this, kids these days didn't, never had games like this to really test their, test their metal. Golly, this is just a platformer. Shh. <laughs> Doing really bad at it. <laughs> oh, the now it's. And also those terrible balancing like maze games. We like our parents tried to convince us were better than video games. Eh, eh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I could die in this thing. Oh, you got you got blooped. Mm -hmm. You got blooped real bad. I did. Rough. <laughs> it made a really terrible squeaky noise, too. Uh, I'm sorry I missed the squeaky noise. It's fine. I'm recording this for posterity. Um, okay. It feels like, it feels like I'm gripping the corner a little bit with my, with my little buggle body. I'm still calling them buggle. Oh. Not bugle? Yeah, I'm just not really committing as hardcore as I need to. You know, I am almost through Celeste Chapter 9. I'm halfway through Celeste you Chapter are, 9. You are not currently halfway through Celeste Chapter 9. You were halfway through Celeste Chapter 9 when you stopped playing Celeste. If you went back, you would have to go back to the beginning. You And you've said as much. You are calling me out in a very unpleasant but fair way. Sorry, I can be nicer. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna let this thing carry me down. Oh no. Oh no. Is there wave dashing in this game? I learned how to <laughs> wave dash in Celeste. I wonder if there's wall jumping. Is that a thing? Oh, You've got a stamina no. bar though, be careful. I have a sta- why do I have a sta- I don't you have don't a You don't have a stamina bar! Don't listen to me! But you can dodge roll. Eh, eh. Okay, cool. This this is the game where I'm really gonna embarrass myself, I feel like. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna ride this up and it's gonna be fine. Everything is fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh no, there's no way I'm making the proper score. Alright. Okay, sweet. Well, Looks like MTS is right. Well, Molly, not death, but yes, MTS has a normal sequence, normal difficulty, DTD. I'm probably still remember enough about... Jesus Christ. <laughs> probably still remember enough about desktop tower defense to survive a normal game. Probably. Is spinning is just getting su uh, sequentially faster? I bet it is. No, it's not. It's it's. I If it is, I haven't noticed. Damn, I really thought I could make that jump. I'm gonna join MTS in a minute here. I just, I really want to get this it's last star. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. No, please. Okay. I give up. <laughs> I give up. I'm trying to, I'm trying oh. to get crushed here. 
It's not, it's not crushing me. I'm trying to die. <laughs> it won't like, it won't kill me. Damn it. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll move on. You want to make that terrible noise again? <laughs> it was kind of adorable. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Multiplayer connecting. If we can get if we can get enough people for minions, that would be sweet. Awesome. Also, hey Guapoon, I've never met you before. Hey, I still remember how to use the chat function. Proud of you. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we can see what everyone else is doing too if we wanna. Okay, so if I remember correctly, um, wait, no, I don't remember where other people are going to spawn. Um, okay, so they're building towers like that. I don't necessarily... Okay, hmm. I don't know where is... Are, are they coming from the top? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build like this a little bit to start. Oh, okay, that's not good. Um... Oh no. So this is marginally different from other tower defense games insofar as um <laughs> Oh Molly. You can do it. Um oh my god, there's actually so much happening right now and I cannot really explain. I don't feel like I can really properly explain what's happening right now. Um, I'm gonna upgrade some towers here. Oh no, my health is super low. This is really bad. Oh. I want to, I want to like explain the mechanics of this game as I'm going through because I'm remembering how it all works. But like at the same time, it's, it's, it's impossible for me to, oh frick, I forgot about these guys. Um, that's bad. Um, I don't even remember if that's the proper frickin' tower to answer. Oh, and now there's a boss coming through. It's just, it's just a nightmare. It's all bad. Oh. This is like a timed quiz to remember how things, if I, if I, This if is one not a thing, game where you get to put sunflowers down first. No, um, boy, this or is mushrooms. really merciless. Wow. <laughs> no, no margin for error there. Well, actually there was plenty of margin of error there. I was just forgot fundamentally how this game worked. I believe in you, Molly. You can do this. Um, I'm kind of sad I left. I didn't mean to. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate the, um, the, uh, the outpouring sentiment. Outpouring of love and support? The outpouring of love and support for my first time playing desktop tower defense in almost a decade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep throwing that out there the whole night. Just like, I haven't played these games in forever. Please. Everything is basically my first try. Um, I'm going to let, I assume uh, MTS and our other friend whose name I'm forgetting right now uh, is, are both still in the game right now. Uh, but that was, that was actually more fun than I remember it being. So I'm going to, I'm going to very quickly um, like throw up the, um, just, just play a quick game. Uh by myself and we'll we'll um we'll we'll come out of this whenever people are available to do another multiplayer game again but just to sort of remind myself how this game works <laughs> um what wait what is this like a starting setup that i had from like ages ago that must be i huh is this, is this how my, like, 16-year-old brain decided to set up a desktop tower defense defense? Hmm. Does, does the game remember that? I, this must be, that must be what this is. Sorry, I'm, I know this is, like, 
really yeah database records don't age um huh i don't know well okay me if this is what you think is best and optimal I, I who am i to argue right um okay um i there's no really pausing this that's fine um okay so i'm gonna i don't really know what to do um um okay hang on because i remember functionally you have to leave open like an available path in your maze right so like what we kind of want to do then is build something that's really sort of windy and twisty uh, as much as possible um and I, I, for one, do not remember the metrics of this, like, at all. So I'm going to do a very bad job of that. But we're going to give it our best try anyway. And we're just going to funnel as many of these guys as we can into a single path and hopefully shoot them really good. Uh, and now I'm out of money. So I guess we'll just hang out and see how well that instinct sort of plays out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were really smart back then. I you smarter than I am currently, I think. Um, we were all smarter back then. Yeah. Let's go. So critters, you actually you actually worked on these games, right? Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll I'll ask you some uh, questions later then. Uh. Ba -ba -ba. Hmm, how are we doing? Let's go. We're doing all right. Oh, now we got some flying creepers. They're just going to fly directly over our thing. Um, I think we're maybe one or two of these are going to get away. No, we actually got them all. Right, right. Okay, cool. Um, all right. See ya. Well, we'll probably be doing this for a little while tonight. I'm actually quite enjoying myself so yeah uh, I'm gonna start upgrading this guy and I remember when you finally upgraded so you've got all of these different kinds of towers with all of these different kinds of abilities right um, so when you finally finish upgrading these pellet towers which are the weakest cheapest towers and they're basically their purpose is to create the maze for all of these other minions to sort of cycle through. But when you upgrade a pellet tower fully, it turns into a sniper tower, which is an incredibly powerful tower with a very long range. Um, can I upgrade this one more time? Yeah. I might have enough for a sniper tower now. I'm not sure. Uh, and different waves of minions would come through with different sort of um, stats and abilities. Uh, to make it increasingly difficult for you to do things. Uh, and I think I'm going to plug up that hole right now just to stagger the minion waves a little bit better. Oh yeah, these are the fast boys. So these boys will come down... Um... <laughs> this, is, this is all through a hazy fog of over a decade now. But um, <laughs> these, these boys, if they move in a straight line, they'll pick up speed and go super fast through your maze. So you want to build a windy maze just so that they don't go uh, super hard through it. Uh, and now we've actually got enough for a sniper tower, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, and let's go ahead and mix things up a little bit, because I want to um, explore a couple of different uh, tower types as we're doing this sort of retrospective dealio. Uh, so this is a frost tower. This is going to slow our minions down and make it harder for them to uh, go through. And now you can see, yeah, we've got our sniper tower here, and it's just very strong, taking out those minions in a single shot. Uh, very useful. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else do we have? We've got these dart towers, um, which actually I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a couple of flyboys through. That's all right. Um... Uh, but these, these dark towers are basically, they're the splash damage, uh, towers. 
Uh, so those are also good to get and upgrade. Alright, so hopefully what this is going to do is this Frost Tower is going to slow them down and make them cluster up right around here. And this Dark Tower is just going to knock them out for us. And the Sniper Tower is going to uh, just do some work. Look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm treating this like a real proper strategy game, Rao. Oh boy, this is, this is bad. Yeah, focus on that. And that's right, I think if you click individual minions, the towers will focus them. I, I genuinely do not remember if that's functionality or not. If, if, I, if that's something my brain made up. Um, oh yeah, and these, these group minions, that's why you want the dark towers. They counter the group minions. Uh, so another really powerful to uh, tower are the uh, Bash Towers. Uh, these were always my favorite, actually. Uh, they just do a rapid fire kind of seismic wave attack. Um, and they deal a lot of damage. Uh, it's just it's just a sweet tower. Oh, and there's a, uh, there's a chance to stun as well with those. Uh, oh, and I should probably put up some flying tower stuff. So those are like your winter melons. Yeah, those are like your winter melons, I guess. Oh, dark minions. Oh yeah, these guys are actually kind of tricky. Uh, they don't take damage from unupgraded um, uh, towers. Uh, but fortunately, we've got our sniper tower, which just clears those out uh, the first time uh, they come through. Uh, Uh, oh, yeah, anti-air. Yeah, the anti-air stuff. Do, do, do. Want to make sure that we've got, we've got our flying minions coming in pretty soon here, so we want to make sure our anti-air towers are uh, up and Oh, ready. Molly? Yeah? Those aren't anti-air. They are snaps that explode when you trigger them. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I helped. I can't. I can't sell these. I have to explode them. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for saving my wife, quit critters. <laughs> Oops. I knew that. I didn't know that. Uh, oh shit, we've only got two lives left here. Oh no. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna find out what happens. Uh, we're gonna do our best. Uh, I'd like to upgrade this Bash Tower one more time. I think the uh, one-time upgrade Bash Tower is actually pretty strong. Um, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Cool. F to fire snaps? F to fire snaps? Okay. I might... Ooh, shoot. That's really bad. Uh, that might be it for us. Crap. Damn. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, uh, we're figuring it out. Um, slowly but surely. Uh, I'm still down to do a multiplayer game of this, uh, MTS. You're back in the chat, so are, are you done and ready to do another game, or... Uh, are you still going there? Uh, if you're still going, that's fine. I'll, I'll uh, take another crack at this uh, single-player tower defense stuff. But uh, if you're doing a multiplayer one, then I'll I'll join you for that. Mm. Uh, this is this is actually a lot of fun. I miss these games. <laughs> there's uh, there's there's a lot of depth to them. I enjoy these. Let's see. Um, we could do just two entrances. There's no reason to do four entrances to myself. Um, MTS hasn't responded yet, so I'm assuming that they're still in a game. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's just go ahead. And um, oh yeah, preload towers. This is the um, this is the setting for that. And this is my this is my old. Uh, 
tower defense setup from back in the day. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, one thing you'll notice is that these waves sort of come through um, bit by bit. And if you do not clear out a wave, uh, you can actually get some bonus points for hitting the next button. But if you do not clear out a wave um, fast enough, um, then the next wave will come through before you can really stop it. Um, and also, we want to play this optimally, so let's do it like that. Yeah. Cool. I also love all the little sound effects. Uh, nope, that's not the... Is N the next button? Yeah, N is the next button. Cool. Awesome. Um, and I'm starting to remember all of the little shortcuts and everything, too. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're, we're going to figure this out. We're getting there. Um, flying might be a little bit of a problem for us. How much does this cost? 50? How much gold do we have? Oh, we can afford one. Yeah, here we go. All right. We got our central anti-air unit. Might be enough to clear out the flyers with the uh, pellet towers that we've got down for now. Uh, we'll find out. Hopefully, yes. Uh, you'll notice we've also got this uh, water turret here on both sides. And these are the rapid fire ones. Um, they're also very useful just for um, clearing bosses and stuff. So speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade both of those. Uh, just to help whittle down these bosses as they come through here. It's probably not as an optimal placement as it could be for the water tower. Um, so the waves always come through in the same pattern of seven, I believe, seven or eight, maybe it's eight. Uh, and every ninth wave is a boss wave. So the boss waves are staggered throughout. So the first boss will be like a normal wave boss. The second boss will be like an immune wave boss, etc., etc. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those small things that I really enjoy about this game. Uh, hmm, I kind of took my eye off the ball here as I was explaining strategy of a game that I haven't played in a very long time and therefore probably do not know as well as I like to think I do. Um, but, okay, hang on two seconds. Let's throw down a missile tower here. Start messing around a bit. Uh, go ahead and upgrade that missile tower. It used to be, I remember really liking these water towers just because of how um, fast damage they could do. Uh, but, you know, uh, since this is just kind of revisiting stuff, I want to revisit a lot of things. Ink tower, shoot blobs of ink that stick to the ground. Oh, okay, so the fire pattern on this is really interesting. Um, hmm. What is going to be optimal placement for that? Maybe here? Here's probably pretty good. Don't overthink it. Yeah, let's Don't do overthink that. it. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. <laughs> Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Let's Sometimes I just provoke her to see if she'll do the actual SpongeBob voices. <laughs> okay. I don't remember quite what this is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was the wrong button. Oh, no. We're going to probably lose. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I always want to make sure that our flying tower is up to date, otherwise, uh, we will lose out there. Um, let's go ahead and make another missile tower, actually. That's kind of my next inclination. Because those group minions, they tend to sneak up on me. Uh, alright, we got an immune coming through. Um, and these guys, these guys are fine. They're basically normal minions. They just can't be slowed, and we don't really have any slowing strategies right now, so uh, that's not going to be too bad for us just yet. Uh, 
Hmm. And actually with this ink tower here, I think what we want to do is we want to um, set up a really long... Oh yeah, look at those missile towers just clearing out those group minions. Very sweet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, they've got a good range too. So um, with this one upgraded, uh, we can start uh, getting in some damage on these guys oh shoot we got the dark minions coming up pretty soon too uh we gotta stay on top of that uh i'm gonna upgrade this pellet tower a bit just in case we're not gonna get i don't think we're gonna get a sniper tower in time um yeah we're not gonna get a sniper tower in time but hopefully that upgraded pellet tower will do a little bit of work on the off chance some of these guys get through uh but it looks like our missile towers are gonna take care of it for us so uh, oh yeah, and that ink tower is doing some work too. Look at that go. So yeah, that's uh, splash damage similar to the missile towers actually. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves that sniper tower. That's going to be super helpful, uh, especially for helping deal with this next wave of flying minions. Uh, and then we've got normal minions which we don't need to worry about. Bosses is going to be the group minions, so maybe I want to... Uh, let's upgrade this missile tower, and hopefully between the two level 4 missile towers we can handle that boss. Uh, although I'm also hoping that we'll get some... Uh, that ink tower will put in some work, hopefully. Uh, sniper tower! Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's upgrade that ink tower. Okay. Um, what does this do? Adds damage to the towers around it. Okay. Uh, so that's not something we necessarily need to worry about just yet. Although if we get to the late game, we'll certainly need to start paying attention to it. Oh, wow. We cleared those guys out real fast. Um, upgrade this guy one more time. Um, let's... Okay, so my inclination right now, actually, because these waves aren't staggering yet, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because we've got so much splash damage here, um, but that is something in the long term we're probably going to want to try staggering out some things. So, um, I'm going to upgrade these water towers real quick. I'm going to rely on our splash damage to take out the boss here. Uh, oops. 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 Um, okay. Well, uh, it's not comfortable, but I think we're fine. Yeah. Critters recommends upgrading air. I don't know if you saw. Oh, good call. Thank you, Critters. Uh, I'm going to upgrade that one more time, actually. Well, we've got a hot second here. Look at this little death corridor we've made. I love it. What a cute little death corridor. Yeah. I'm going to keep these uh, water towers upgraded. Squirt towers. That's what they're called. Squirt towers. I liked what you were calling them better. <laughs> you don't like squirt tower? No. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Ink tower making short work of those dark minions. Um, I'll upgrade this ink tower one more time. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe, well, we'll probably be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, ooh, that's an expensive upgrade. Fully upgraded water tower is really freaking fun, but, uh, Okay, let's actually, while this is going on, I'm going to throw down a seismic tower right here. Uh, yeah, there goes the air tower taking care of those guys for us. Uh, decoy. I don't remember what decoy does. What does decoy do? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, yeah, they just split into a million things and they're super slow. It's really good that we've got all this splash here, actually. That's going to really help us out. 
So yeah, their job is pretty much just to slow your maze down and get to the next minion wave. Um, yeah. Oh, the towers focus them first, too. I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, hoppers. These guys, these hoppers always, like, bug me because if there's, yeah, if there's little gaps in their maze, they'll get through them. Uh, but it looks like our sniper tower is actually, oh, come on. Yeah. All right. looks like our sniper tower took care of that. Wow. Forgot about those. Um, morph. Morph. Um... We're probably okay. I think we're all right. <laughs> um, I believe in you. Okay, you know what? I'm going to very quickly make a frost tower here. Because we are going to need it for this next boss. This is probably not... Again, this is probably not optimal positioning, but... Oh, God, why did I do that? Why did I upgrade it just as the fast boss was coming through? What a silly, silly choice that was. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah! Go, go, go. Oh, no. A gap. Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, go. my love. Go, 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 go. Ah! No, it's getting away. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a little unfortunate. Um, but you know what? That was like our first loss in a hot second. Oh, shoot. We're going to need to upgrade this flying tower, too. Um, mm, mm, okay. We are getting in it now. Yeah. All right. Air tower is upgraded. I think that's enough. I could be wrong, but I hope that's enough. Um, uh, uh, no, we're good. We're good. It's fine. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm actually going to save up for this water tower. Um, ooh, thank you. Thank you for the uh, hopper wave update. Um, I don't know. Ugh. I don't know what I can do to fix the gaps right now. Um, there might not be a lot. I and appreciate all of you giving, it. like, Molly this advice and feedback, because I'm just seeing a lot of squares and then a lot of dudes and going, <laughs> oh, okay, squares and dudes. Um, okay, I'm going to start upgrading this water tower. We're going to see how that goes. Um, I might want to, I might actually want to start upgrading some of these pellet towers into sniper towers too while we're here. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a really bad, oh, that's a really bad leak. Molly, what did you just swear? <laughs> bugger? Did you not know I was British, babe? That's I'm... so naughty. <laughs> uh... Boy, we really let those hoppers get through. Yeah, I know, I know. I um, I thought, I, I didn't think it was going to be that bad with the hoppers. I thought we were going to be able to uh, tank it. Nope, those hoppers came for you. They did. Uh, oh, we've got the fully upgraded water tower now. Sweet. So that's going to start doing some work for us, hopefully. Fee banana, I appreciate you. <laughs> you are the Cassandra... Of this comment section. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Uh, oh, and we've got a dark boss coming in. That's going to be a little rough. Uh, I'm going to keep upgrading these pellet towers. Ooh, and we got this... Um... I know you did your best. Also, Molly, I believe in you. You've got this. I'm just going to... You're going to beat those little guys. You're going to cross all those animals. Oh, hey, look at that. I actually have enough... Uh... Um, hey, Molly, I there. think you're developing a black screen of death. Uh, in what sense? Uh, in the sense of your audio, your video has gone off for me. Let me check if the audio has gone off. Okay. Uh, ooh, yeah, we can do Desktop Armada. I might actually be still okay at Desktop Armada. That was the game that I decided to get good at. Uh, has anybody else lost visual, or is that just me? 
Yeah. If it's just me, then. Um, I mean, I love you. There's but... nothing. There's nothing on my end to suggest that the stream is offline. Okay, that might be me. Uh, have you tried reloading? No, I'll give that a go. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna quickly upgrade that. Ooh, I hope I I keep upgrading the towers right Better. when they're relevant. Uh, come on, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're we're in the clear. We're in the clear. We got this. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, sweet. And I've actually got enough for the double upgrade? Yeah! Alright, we're gonna have three sniper the towers. Upgrade. Yeah. Awesome. Um, love that. Going in strong in this decoy round. Hopefully, uh... I should really upgrade this seismic tower, oh, actually. Ooh. Ooh, our splash damage is maybe not as optimal as it could be. Uh, ooh, boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh no, and we got the hoppers too. This is really bad. Uh, oh no, this might be it. I don't know if I can recover from this. Oh yeah, the decoys, with the decoys and everything, that was just too much. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know, I feel like that's exactly how I lost this game multiple times when I was like a teenager. I'm like 90% sure that's how I lost this game most of the time. Um, that was actually quite a lot of fun, though. I would love to do that. Uh, more of that, uh, maybe as the night goes on. But um, MTS, you recommended, you suggested Desktop Armada. And that's actually, that one's my game. Um, kind of. This was the game that I decided to get really good at on this site. Um, turn the music on. I feel like all of these games deserve to have their music on just so that we can listen to their music. Um, I sort of remember how to play this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Citizen also really liked this game. Um, for those of you do, who don't know, um, hang on, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find them real quick. Citizen Miscellaneous Three. Uh, they were, they were actually a friend of mine at uh, high school. Hey, ah, don't, don't do that. Um, yeah, they were a friend of mine at high school, and we, we played a bunch of games on here. Uh, and you can see uh, their icon is actually two ships, like. A boat from the perspective on the boat and the boat out on the water on the horizon line that was their avatar it was cute i really liked it um i guess i'm gonna make my own game here real quick two players normal fog of war on reinforcements yeah okay cool uh and we'll just we'll just wait for someone to join uh Sweet. Hey, MTS. Um, so, yeah. Uh, no cheating by looking at my screen, by the way. I, I hope that goes without saying. I, it's, it's, it's real. It's real. Um, okay. I do not remember how... I'm going to look at her screen. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I really want to stop and explain how this game works, but at the same time, um, I don't really know what I could do to, um, I, I you're just gonna have to watch, I guess, and I will attempt to explain as the game proceeds. Uh, well, that's not great, per se. Um, so, uh, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see there's a little arrow there, and that's indicating what my income is. So the further along my boats are, the more gold I'm earning per second. Um, and that's important, uh, because this is a resource game. 
uh, and you spend gold to spit out boats and your goal is to destroy the other person's base. So it's Battleship. It's, no, no. So it's Battleship. It's not even remotely Battleship. What do you want about? I oh. think my screen's gone black again. Oh, well, your screen's silly. Yeah, that's um, on me. Oh, God, I gotta start upgrading. Um, oof, this is, this is pretty bad, not gonna lie. Alright, hopefully I timed that okay. We're gonna see. Oop. Yeah, we could do it with a Fog of War off. I always, whenever I did that with Fog of War off, I always found that it would, um... Uh, just lead to some really incessant mirror matches. Um... But, I don't know, maybe I'm silly. Okay, what if that? Let me give that a try. That might be a mistake, but actually it's almost certainly a mistake, but you know, we'll see. Uh, so there are four kinds of ships. There's a patrol boat, which is a weak ship, but a fast ship. And generally speaking, you use that to sort of navigate the fog and um, earn more income as your furthest boat is further down the road. Uh, there's the destroyer, which is kind of your tank. There's missile boats, which is kind of your glass cannon. And then there's battleship, which is your super expensive, really strong unit. And right now, I'm. You can always uh, upgrade these boats and um, see how far you can get. Um, I. Right now, I'm very far behind on the upgrade tree. MTS is a bit ahead of me. We're gonna see how much I can kind of get away with here despite that question mark. Um. And actually, let's see if I can be a little sneaky here. You'll notice the income uh, exponentially increases as the game goes on. Hmm. Oof. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to keep up right now. I... You are almost certainly going to beat me here. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a calculated mistake. And we're gonna see how that plays out for me. Oh, rats. All right, well, it looks like they've got a battleship down there. And that's gonna be a small problem. Um, maybe with some patrol boat spam will be okay? I don't know, hard to say. Ooh, that might be it. I really hope that's not game. So yeah, let's see if we can maybe get some work done here with these. Ooh, that's a missile boat. Missile boat's just gonna... Ooh, nice. Okay, hey, that battleship range is pretty alright. Ooh, uh, second level missile boats. That's a problem. I'm not talking as much right now, but that's just because I am uh, very focused on this game. I don't want to lose. I believe in you, Molly. You can do this. Okay. Ooh, yikes. That's a lot of... Okay. 
Uh, cannot research that. Cannot research that. Uh, okay. So these battleships are very strong, but the thing to know is that they're also uh, do not see patrol boats. So you can counter them with some patrol boat spam. And we'll see. We'll see whether or not that actually pans out for me. Mm. Molly. Yeah? Should I make chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, you should make chocolate chip cookies, absolutely. Heck yes! That means it's okay if I abandon in the comments section? Yes. I'll be back! Oh boy, we are in trouble. Hey, okay, that was alright. We're not totally dead yet. We're just mostly dead. And here come the patrol boats. Oh yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are we are in serious trouble here. Uh I think my only hope at this stage is going to be to maybe maybe I can churn out a battleship here before we totally get blown away, but I seriously doubt it. We do not have enough gold per second to make it work. Uh, mm. Oh, and there's the missile boat spam too. Yeah, there's no way. She anticipated us. Yep. Yeah, that was it. Oof. Um, so yeah, uh, that is, uh, Desktop Armada. Uh, I used to play this game a lot. It was super fun. Um, I once played a game against the number two ranked player at the time, I think it was, Eric Fleet, um, and won, and that was, like, the closest I ever came to, like, being super competitive at, at, in a game. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, that was then. This is now, and obviously uh, that hasn't really carried over. Um, but yeah, that's Desktop Armada. Freaking love that game. Um, what? What else should we do? I'm still. I'm still feeling. We've been on for like an hour now, but I'm still feeling pretty fresh. So let's take a look. Um, there's minions, which again, I don't think we quite have enough people for minions. Uh, I don't think... Um... Oh, hi. Hi, MTS. <laughs> Hello. Um, I don't think we have... Probably don't have enough people for minions. Um, I would freaking love to play some minions, though. Um, just to, like... Minions was never necessarily my game, but, like, it is, uh, it is a really cool game, nevertheless. Um, I'm actually just curious, and I'm gonna browse the lobby real quick, just to see what, uh, if there are even any... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna make a game real quick. I don't think anyone's necessarily going to join. All minions players are mean. It's not just like a MOBA universal rule that all all MOBA players are mean. There's just nothing nothing else to it. Um, I mean, you and I could potentially just play a game like the two of us, although I, I think to make it interesting, we want at least six players. So we, we'd want to wait for four more, potentially, if we were actually going to do this. I don't think that's... Okay, tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go use the bathroom, and if we've got at least one other person in the lobby, uh, then we'll wait around and see for a little bit. But uh, if if not, then uh, we'll just move on and try something else. Um, oh, hey, Felton John, sweet. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go use the bathroom, and yeah, if we get some more people, great. We'll stick around and see how it works.
know what happened. Uh, hmm. Somehow we got booted from our own game. I don't know how that worked. Eh, join MTS's game. All right, I'll grab some water real quick. Oh, if you don't type anything, it boots. Hey, critters, welcome to the party. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All right, I'm gonna grab some water. Mm. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah, just waiting for one more. So, critters, were you uh, were you involved in the development of minions as well, or um, I, I know desktop tower defense. Uh, you you made that uh oh okay sweet i didn't know that that's really cool um for the record, I freaking love all of these games. <laughs> Just by the way, um, if you can't, uh, since I'm since I'm recording this in uh, live and you can't necessarily see the chat, critters, critters says uh, they co-developed all these games on the site with Paul. Um, so yeah, we're we're actually playing with uh, the game developer right now, which is very cool, um, and we are definitely definitely making a fool of ourselves. But eh, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've got Splodge, who's good all-around tank. We got Basher, who's like your damage-dealing person. We got Doc, who's your medical support. Stinger, who's kind of a disabling minion. Shouty, who's your glass cannon. And Sneaky, who's like your stealth sort of killy minion. Um, we're just going to stick with uh, Splodge, because he's strong and reliable. Uh, and now I have to remember how all of these games work. Uh, so you can see all of these guys have... Uh, yeah, sweet. Okay. So yeah, you can see all these guys have um, their own abilities, similar to what you might find in like a League of Legends MOBA type deal. Uh, and we've got towers and we've got bases. You know how this game works. We got minions. Alright. Uh, we're gonna be a little careful here. Especially want to be careful of critters who's playing the sort of sneaky, sneaky deaky uh, minion. Oh boy, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, shield, shield. Ah, damn it. All right. Well, you see, one of the things we got is our ghost, and we can move our ghost and respawn. Oh, we've got a repair. That's a good thing to know. Um, we're also leveling up. I forgot about this level up thing. Okay. We may have to play another game after this just so that uh, I remember how to do things. I'm just going to fully upgrade this shield because that seems like a good, good place to start. Uh, we do want to be careful about getting in range of those. Okay. Nice and easy. And I lost the tower. That's not great. Might be able to take out the stock here. No, definitely not. That's okay. Let's move in with these minions. Oh, there's a dock. Let's get out of there. Uh, okay, shift one to upgrade. Cool. All right. Okay, okay. We're starting to get into it a little bit more now. Uh, that dock's got to be pretty low now. Let's see if we can't... Yeah. 
Oof, critters is doing work. Let's go ahead and crack our repair there. Don't want to die again. Well, despite everything, we're not doing as bad as we could be. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, yep, that was it. Passing that dock. Yeah. Looks like we lost one of our players. That's okay. That's a shame. Oh, nope, that's bad. Ah, nope, I'm stunned. <laughs> Oh, man. Felton's level 25. Alright. Let's just tank up. Alright. Well, we're gonna kill MTS here. And we can maybe kill critters here, too? Yeah, alright. Hey, look at that. Got the Thunder Tower against minions, though. Just gonna keep playing defensive here. We might checking the mini map. It looks like they've only got two towers left. If I'm reading that right, hard for me to say. I genuinely do not know. Hi, bloody face. <laughs> You've been doing some work over there, haven't you? Well, we're not totally out of this yet. Although, our home base tower is certainly in trouble. Ah, no bad. Oh, Ben Critter's going in for the sneak. Ah, there's no way. I feel like we did okay. <laughs> We, we actually got the one kill on our team, so, you know, that's, 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 that's all right. It's okay. GG. Um, let's see. Uh, actually, I kind of want to do one more. Let's just, uh, I want to do one more minions game. Um... I should really... I've got a bunch of the sort of premium currency. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm actually on top of uh, the stream sort of being saved to my... Um, on top of the stream being saved to my channel, uh, I'm actually recording it as well. Uh, so it's it's going to be saved one way or another. Um, let's go for ahead and posterity. switch it up. Yeah, for posterity. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and switch it up. I'm going to play... Um, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh, I'm going to play Basher here, uh, just to mix things up a little bit. Uh, so sort of like, also kind of like Splodge, where it's like a reliable minion. He's just more of a damage dealer. Um, so yeah. Permanently increased damage. Armor piercing shells, increase attack speed. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, our goal here, I mean, we're, I'm actually the tankiest member of our team right now. So um, our goal here is to let critters carry us. That's our idea. 
Uh, although we don't want to needlessly take damage. That's a little silly. Yeah, our strategy is going to be to have critters carry us. It's actually kind of remarkable how many similarities this game has to um, uh, something like League of Legends. I mean, obviously it's it's very different, but um, oh, we are in tower range. That's really bad. We do want to be careful. I don't know what the experience meter is based on in this game. I think it might be similar to... Um, it might be similar to... Um, desktop Armada, uh, where it's based on your positioning on the map, uh, but I could be mistaken. Uh, okay, cool. We're basically healed up now. Uh, looks like Bloody Face is going for... So let's actually... yeah. Oh, and we want to be careful now. Cool, alright. Well, we took some hits there, but they took some hits too, so we're not totally... Um, AP shell, specifically. Armor piercing shells for five seconds. What does that mean, though, armor piercing shells? I know it means it deals more damage, but, like, is there an armor stat that that sort of, uh, matters? Ooh, that was rough. Um, I was not paying attention to that. Shoot. Uh, I should maybe be upgrading our HE shells? Yeah, that might be a good plan next. Uh, okay, they're going in hard here, so we can also go in hard here. Let's see if we can. Ah, no, couldn't quite do it. I was hoping to harass him away from that. Uh, gonna upgrade our HE shells. Oof. And Critters is in trouble. Ah! Might get the kill here. Oh, hi! Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, boy. Uh, part of this might just be they have the better te team comp, honestly. We're a very, we're a very squishy team. I'm the closest thing we have to a tank, and I'm still more like a DPS character, so... Um, we... Uh, let's see if we can focus their dock, actually. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, man, I am very squish. Very, very squish. Okay, if we're gonna go in, we have to go in with team. I have to... I have to not just recklessly throw myself with abandon upon the enemy's mercy. Ah, come on. Oh, boy. Human. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh, we might make it. We might bring this back. Okay, 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 okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. That was, that was, we finally performed correctly there. We finally did what we were supposed to do that time. Um, okay, let's see what our team wants to do. Oh! That's a problem. Boy, that sneak guy was really quite strong. Okay. Hey, I think our team got kills. Good job, team. Okay, let's let's go in with minions. Let's see if we can make some progress on these towers. Uh, oh, nope, never mind. They are all right there. Uh, hmm. Critters playing pretty aggressive there. Yeah. He was gonna fail pretty much as soon as he could. Oh, that was bait. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Run away. All right. Okay. We're all right. It's gonna be all right. 
Hi, Curtis. <laughs> Boy, mobility is strong no matter what game, huh? Well, this is a little more evenly matched than our last game, certainly. Again, I think I think our biggest problem here is just we don't have a we don't have a great team comp ultimately. Uh, that's bait. I'm still falling for it. Uh, okay, cool. Mostly play quick game mode. Oh, did I? Is this like a regular game versus like the quick game that we did last time? Okay, cool, cool, cool. That makes sense to me. All right. Well, maybe um, maybe we'll do a quick game after this then. Because I, I agree with you. I can see how this could take a while. Uh, let's see if we can take out this dock, actually. Oh, shit. Nope, they're coming for him. Uh, oh, I totally misclicked, too. Rats. Go away. There we go. Alright. Oh, and Critters died, too. Mm. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh, they're over there. Uh, let's go in. I want to see if we can take MTS here. Hello. Ooh. Oh yeah, she's super dead. Ah, no, dead body. In my way. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Mm. I'm so much squishier than I think I am. Ah. I mean, that's, that's always been my problem in MOBAs. This is why I only ever play tanks in MOBAs, because I, I tend to be pretty aggressive, and I am always a lot squishier than I think I am. Uh, so our DPS should be pretty all right right now, at least. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. I've just been getting back into League of Legends, too. They have two of them now? League of Legends? Two of them? Never mind. No, this was the, um... We were talking about this, actually. Minions, the game that I'm playing right now. It was the uh, first MOBA. Uh, okay. Um, they can bail if they need to. Oh, no, they just use their blink to kind of go in. Hmm. Let's be careful. Oh, shit, I blocked critters there. That was my bad. All right, they used their blink, but our guy used his, um... Ugh. We're just very out-leveled. I think if we lose one more team fight, that's pretty much it, huh? Let's see. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's see if we can get MTS here. Where'd that go? 
Oh, they're they're blinking over to the tower. Uh, that might be a problem. Let's see. Oh no, Critters is there. We can take out MTS here. If we can't take out MTS, I don't know what we're good for. I okay. Now fall back, protect the tower. Oh my god. Ah! The misclicks! The misclicks! Okay. Well, one of us is kind of stuck puppy guarding the uh, tower now, unfortunately. <laughs> Jeez. Just kind of let that happen. <laughs> I'm still not entirely clear on what the experience bar is based on. Uh, after this, after this, I'm gonna make one more quick game, uh, and we'll we'll play one more different kind of minion. Yeah. All right. Um. Although, actually, one second, I want to, because I do have. Um, I do have the premium currency thing. Cause let me let me see if I can. Uh, nope. Okay. I don't remember how to purchase things for the minions game. Um, I'm trying to remember now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll see you around, critters. Okay, uh, MTS is going to play desktop tower defense, so maybe we'll do this again later, but um, there are... I still want to... Okay, so hang on. Here we go, visit store. Game upgrades... Minions bonus pack, space bonus pack. Uh, okay, cool. So I can buy this for a month. Uh, yeah. I've got, what, are, what else am I gonna use this premium currency I have saved up, right? Sweet. Uh, expires May 3rd, 2020. Awesome. I guess I gotta do this uh, more then, huh? Um, if I remember correctly, the reason I've got all this premium currency, you see, I, I actually have a good amount of it, uh, so obviously I should be spending it, especially if um, the site isn't necessarily gonna be around for much longer. Uh, I used to do a radio show on this site, and that was super fun. Uh, this was, I don't know if I actually talked about my personal history with this site yet, but this was actually kind of the first online community that I was an active participant in. Uh, and so because of that, I, I remember this site very fondly, actually. Uh, this is, this has been um, really nice for me. Uh, I'm going to check out a couple of more single player games while it's just us. Uh, well, we don't necessarily have a partner to play more games with. Um, maybe we'll try some more desktop tower defense, actually, in a hot second, because that's a lot of fun. But for right now, let's check out the space game. Because I remember, I remember the space game being kind of... It's another tower defense game, if I... Again, if I remember correctly. If memory serves. Um, but it's kind of a more... Um, fluid, open one than necessarily... It's not about building mazes, it's more about building a defense grid of sorts. Um, so yeah, hey, look at this. Things all you space virgins should know. 
great wording on that. <laughs> uh, how to produce energy, mine asteroids for minerals, expand your influence and defend your base. Energy and minerals. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, sure, let's play through a couple of these tutorials, because I this game's a bit more complicated than Desktop Tower Defense. Um, so, yeah, let's see if I can actually even remember what the deal is. Right-click doesn't do anything. Welcome, Commander. In this tutorial, I will show you how to mine an asteroid to increase your income in minerals. Okay, cool. Uh, to get started, we'll give you a single solar station. Solar stations gather energy from the sun, which can be used to build and power other structures. Makes sense to me. The energy you gather and use is displayed in the bottom right corner. Cool. Structures also require minimal minerals to create them. Cool. Uh, minerals you have available are also displayed in the bottom right. You can mine minerals from asteroids. Let me show you how to do this. Cool. You instruct the miner first. Click on the miner icon at the bottom of the screen. Now place it to the right of the asteroid by moving your mouse and clicking it. Okay, and I can see there's a little line connected to the asteroid, so I will do that. The miner now needs energy to begin construction. An energy relay is a structure that you can use to link everything that needs energy to a solar station. So I can do that like that. Cool. And now we're mining that asteroid. Cool. And we're earning 80 minerals per minute. At the bottom of the screen, you can see information on things you select. You can see how many minerals are left in the asteroid. When it is empty, you cannot mine anything from it. Okay, that makes sense to me. Uh, you can have multiple miners mining a single asteroid, and miners can mine any asteroid in range. Okay, cool. It makes sense to me. Um, click on the background to bring you back to the build menu. Can see. Build more miners next to this asteroid. Three in total. Sure. And we want to make sure we're connected to our relay here, so we'll do that. And that. Okay. And now we're earning a total of 240 minerals per minute. Uh, click on your... Low on energy. Click on your solar station. Um... Right, because every time we do a thing, our energy gets used from the solar station and our energy gets depleted. Okay. Wow, this is actually a lot more involved than I remember. Um, okay, click on the upgrade to improve the solar station efficiency to 70%. It will gather energy quicker so you can power more structures and build more things at a time. Once fully upgraded, you can build more solar stations as you expand. It is always better to upgrade rather than build many low-level structures. Good to know. Uh, we've got the timer on the upgrade again. Sweet. And we get a second fan there to indicate that we are now at level 2. Uh, while upgrading structures do not function, it's best not to upgrade while under attack. What do you mean under attack? This is just a nice sort of space mining game. By clicking and dragging the background. Cool. Alright. Uh, you can also zoom in and out by using the mouse wheel. Yeah. Congratulations, you've mastered the skills. You need to create solar stations, relay energy, man asteroids, and move around the map. All right. And we can also use the mini-map to jump around. Cool. Awesome. OK. Uh, uh, looks like this is just a breakdown of what we've already learned. Uh, energy stores. Hold any spare energy produced by solar stations. It's very handy for fuel under attack and need a high levels of energy. Okay. I'm not sure if I fully understand the energy mechanic just yet, but um, I'll keep... Uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. Um, asteroids with rich mineral deposits are very rare. Uh, you may have to defend your structures from attack. I will now show you how to build a laser to defend yourself from these mineral pirates. Okay. Uh, one of the most basic, least expensive forms of defense are basic lasers. Click to build one now. Place it there. Build one here to protect your miners. Basic laser is short range. It can fire on ships and missiles. It can be converted into a rapid firing pulse laser or a long range tactical high energy laser or THEL. All right. Pirate ships detected. Your basic laser should deal with them. Let's watch the fight to see how it copes. Wait, is that? Oh yeah, those little red things. Huh. 
and it's dealing damage like that. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if... There's no way to do this full screen, is there? Hmm. I should have built this closer to that. I wasn't expecting the um, pirates to show up there. Okay. Notice how the upgrade button tells you how many minerals the upgrade will cost you. Yep. Uh, pulser. Okay. Uh, so we've locked it into pulser now, but we can upgrade pulser. Okay. That makes sense to me. Now let's get your base fixed up. A repair station. Make sure all of your buildings are inside the brown circle range. A repair station will construct repair drones, which will fly off and fix any structure that's damaged. You can place them throughout your base and upgrade them to increase the size of the area they can cover. That makes sense to me. Oh, we got more pirates now. Um, but your pulse pirates. laser should make short work of them. Let's see how it does. Oh man, I must have had much better eyes as a kid, huh? That energy is pretty low. I can see our structures are starting to... Can I... Okay, so all miners... Off. Okay. All miners are off, all miners are on. You can also upgrade the pulse laser. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I can zoom the browser. I can zoom the browser. Um, okay, hang on. Can I zoom the browser? Oh, that was my phone. Um, there we go. Okay, that's actually much better. Yeah, let's do that. Feels a little feels a little cheeky, but yeah. Um, oh, and let me let me adjust the stream box there so you can see better what's going on. One second. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, should be set there. Awesome. Okay, let's, uh, let's play a mission. Um, how do I navigate this? Mission one, a spot of mining before we begin. Sure. Um, let's just do a normal game. Uh, okay. So we got our station there, repair station, basic ranger, missile launcher, probably not using that just yet. Start construction there. Um, quiet phone. I'm playing video games. And then let's go ahead and, yeah. It's not quite long enough to make it work. Um, what happens if I put another energy relay node here? Can I upgrade these? I can upgrade these. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're running 240 minerals per minute. Our energy is a little on the low side, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. Cool. All right. Let's see. That may have been, I don't know if that was entirely necessary to upgrade that station to full. Probably not, but um, I do not remember if there are pirates in this level or not, but uh, just to be safe, it seems like maybe we should throw down a uh, um, some sort of defense system just to be on the safe side. Um, okay. 
but uh, our goal is to mine a third of this asteroid belt thing. So, uh, whoops, that was the wrong button. Um, looks like this is the, the only relevant section. So as long as we're able to stick around and guard this, then we should be fine. I'll go ahead and upgrade that real quick. Yeah, this is actually a really, um, I call that a tower defense game, and that's kind of true, but it's also really not true at all. Uh, another great game similar to this is Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal. I've never heard of that game. Um, and also it was inspired by Harvest Massive Encounter. I've never heard of these games. That's really cool. I'm going to have to take a look at those. Uh, I'm going to throw out another basic laser here. Maybe over this side of things, just so that um, we've got kind of our bases covered, literally, as the case maybe. Oh no, they're coming from that side. I can see them on the mini-map. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm actually not sure whether or not it was correct to fully upgrade the space station, but given that's our energy resource, that seems like it's probably what we need. Um, although it looks like we're going to mine this asteroid field fully before it even necessarily becomes relevant. And we're just tearing through these guys. Uh, yeah, we already did it. Sweet. Are we, are we good? Um, seems, seems like we fulfilled the requirements. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not, uh, seeing something. Creeper World was a Flash game that was made around the same time as the CC. It's on Steam now, and the guy's working on a 3D version for his fourth version. Change the speed to fast. Oh, cool. All right, we'll speed things up. Uh... Uh, go ahead and upgrade that real quick. Um, we'll make that one a pulsar, just for the sake of variety. But yeah, it looks like our Thel is going to knock all these guys out before they even get in pulsar range. Cool. Uh, and yeah, as best I can tell, there's no reason not to just upgrade everything. Um, uh, I, I don't think there's a reason to like be worried about that necessarily it seems like we only lose if um we lose our solar station um <laughs> played the space game so long ago i remember i waited at least an hour to download it over dial up <laughs> and on pc even fast was slow i can see that Okay, so let's check this out. Um, difficulty multiplier 1.5. Total ships killed 30. Minerals mine 2,358. Playtime 7 minutes. Energy reserves 14 units maximum. Minerals peak per minute. Okay, so it seems like what we want to be doing then is... Um, can you defend moving targets, right? Gate construction. Okay. Oh man, I'm just gonna. This is this is gonna be a whole rabbit hole for me. I feel like I'm just gonna be doing this for the next little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I feel like I should be upgrading that right away, but at the same time, there's not necessarily a reason to. Um, this is fairly optimal, so let's do that and place a couple of relays here, yeah. Uh, although we do want to be careful about sprawling out too far because uh, we need to be able to defend all of that. Oh, okay, cool, we can build a solar station, awesome. Um, well, we want that to be fairly centrally located, if at all possible. Um, 
maybe this is a mistake, but let's build one there. Uh, and we can also set up an energy store um, over here. I don't know if the energy store needs to be... Is there a disadvantage to having things far away from a space station? Like if I had this, say, set up two nodes away from any space station, would it be less efficient? Um, I, I don't know the answer to that. This is partly a, um, a rhetorical question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place a battery there just for the sake of doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down a laser set up here and a laser set up here. I'm not necessarily sure where aliens are going to come from, but or, or space pirates are going to come from. Uh, but it seems to me like we need to upgrade our stations now. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is super interesting. <laughs> Okay, um, and we can actually kind of check on this asteroid. So this asteroid has 936 minerals left. Um, I can't, I wish I could see which asteroids were in range of this. Okay, interesting. Um, I like Thels. Um, let's go ahead and make that one a pulsar. Again, just for the sake of variety, if nothing else. Um, I want to make one more basic laser. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. And then that, so it can kind of protect because now we've got this and this and this, and between those, we should be okay? Question mark? Um, this one might actually be better as a Thel, just so it can help out over here. Um, let's speed up the game a little bit. Possibly at some significant risk to myself. Let's, let's see how we do. Um, okay, we can make that a fell now. Ooh, boy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Slow down. I want to see what's happening here. Okay, so it looks like... Ah, interesting. Okay, so rapid fire is actually very useful for taking out um, those missiles in particular. Okay, so this actually wound up being a pretty strong placement for this guy. Uh, we really need a repair station. Holy cow. Um, just going to place that right there. Uh, I'm just going to upgrade that right away. <laughs> I quite like the dynamic music. I would love that, actually. Critters, I would love to see your take on any of these games. Um, like, any, your, anything that you want to do. Um, I'm, I really enjoy these quite a bit. Okay. Slowly doing some repair work. Maybe... No, I should just... No, no, I already fully upgraded this guy, so... Hmm. You know what? I might actually need more um, more defense here. Um, but do still want to be careful. I'll put something there. Make another pulser here. Yeah. Oh man, this guy's in trouble. Um, hmm. 
Okay. 600 minerals a minute. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully, I'll be able to repair enough. Oh man, this escalates really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this one more time. It seems like, so the Fells are really good at taking out long range threats, but when you've got a bunch of rapid, like, missiles especially incoming and such, that's when it becomes really important to have these um, pulse lasers instead. Uh, so you actually, you, you kind of want pulse lasers protecting your Fells almost, um, on top of protecting everything else, obviously. That's kind of how, that's kind of my t take on this right now. And oh, looks like we actually got some coming in over here, so I'm gonna drop another pulser over here to respond to that. Just to make sure we got our bases covered again. Uh, I'm a little concerned about our energy levels, but eh, it looks like we're doing fine. And we've got this um, storage unit just in case, so I, it doesn't seem like that's a problem yet. This is doing a lot of good work for us. Uh, that fell is maybe not as useful as I want it to be. Ooh, just out of range of that. That's a little bit of a blind spot there. Uh, if we upgrade, yeah, there we go. That'll buff our range a bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to speed get speed up here a little bit because I just want to get 300 minerals. There we go. Yeah, slightly out of range. That's okay, though. Exploders detected. Oh, and they're coming from all sides this time, too. That's fine. Oh, hey, we did it. I wasn't even, I didn't even notice. Look at that. Okay. All right. Um, not too shabby. I remember, I, I actually think I remember that level giving me a lot of problems when I first started. Um, but this is, this is nice. Okay. Um, cool. Oh, we're already on the clock, so let's not waste any time here. Go ahead and do that. And that. Does the relay? The relay does not connect to the miner. That makes sense, unfortunately. As much as I wish it didn't. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Uh, okay. It's interesting that that uh, energy beam really cares about uh, where you're placing it. Just gonna put a bunch of miners everywhere. Okay. Um, let's do a solar station there as well. Upgrade. Okay. Um, let's create an energy store here. And we can save this spot for a, um, a repair unit. Uh, but now let's set up some lasers for ourselves. And it doesn't seem like it particularly cares. There isn't necessarily a pattern to where these all come from, so you just have to you just have to keep your bases covered, uh, which I respect. Okay. Uh, this this station over here is a little vulnerable. So how about we make that a fell? And let's just respond to whatever comes our way. Uh, you have lots of energy, should be spamming miners to get through these quickly. Okay. Good to know.
I think I think I also made this mistake when I uh, when I played this game when I was uh, younger, where I got overly focused on sort of the defense aspect of it, that I wasn't really paying attention to like the um, mining so much. Uh, even though you're absolutely right, like that is by far more important. Um... I'll throw down energy relay there. That might have been a mistake, but yeah, we'll see. Upgrade that. Um, we're a little vulnerable out there, but that's okay. Uh, fortunately, they're coming from that angle, so we'll be able to respond to that. Uh, but let's go ahead and throw up another defensive unit over there. Um, there are some coming from the south, so we'll want to make sure that we've got that covered. I do love that dynamic music, unironically. It's very good. Um, ooh, we are a little bit in trouble. Okay, uh, quickly build a repair station. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded that just now. That's all right. All right, repair station, go. Oh shoot, we lost our thing. Oh no. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh wait, what happened over here? Oh, did we lose a node? Oh no! <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know we could lose nodes. Oh my god! <laughs> I've not played Buckle Connect yet. I'm actually totally down to play Buckle Connect after I lose this level so terribly. Oh man. Let's go ahead and upgrade that real quick. We need it for sure. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, just keep mining, just keep mining. What do we do? We mine. Um, energy relay. Mineral miner. Basic laser. It's boy time. I know, I can't, I just... Uh, What's wrong? I just washed my hands. <laughs> I want to wash my hands again. <laughs> I know that okay. sounds babyish. It, it does, it really does. Um, oh, it looks like we're okay. Um, yeah, we might be alright. Go ahead and upgrade that miner. This is really deep. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna make that a fell. Although we probably don't need it at this stage. Looks like we'll be finished here before the uh, next wave comes. Wash your hands, stay at home. Wash your hands, stay at home. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Okay, look at that. We did it. Let's see. Wow, I've been streaming for like two hours now. Sweet.
Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's play some Boggle Connect uh, if you're up for that. Two seconds. Here we go. Ba bam. Space game. Surprisingly difficult, actually. Want to want to play more of that. Um, I remember Fragment being really fun. I want to play that again. Uh, but Bubble Connect. CC best concept of social gaming site ever. I sort of agree, actually. Um, This is, there was a reason that I came here like a bunch in high school. Um, I am really, really enjoying this, I gotta say. Um, this has been one of the most fun streams I think I've done in a long time. Um, so now we're gonna play Buggle Connect, which I do not remember how to play. Uh, but eh, whatever, we're gonna do it anyway. Hey, critters. Uh, I made this like a two-player game, but I think MTS wants to play too, so I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna go back and make it a three-player game real quick, I guess? Sorry about that. Cool. Uh, awesome. Let's do this. Y'all, this is super fun. I... Whoa, okay, hold on. Click a point to place your player marker. Um... Oh! Right, okay, I kind of remember how to play this game now. Now select a second point to try and control more points. So what if I do that? Haha! <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Um... Okay, right. I'm remembering how this works. This is a super fun game. I love this game, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's do that. Now, of course, I'm streaming everything, so, like... Nice. Okay, see, we won that round. Look at that. I'm remembering how to do this. Number one Awa would also like to join in. Who would? Number one Awa? Yeah, sure. Do you wanna do you wanna play Boggle Connect? We'll probably play more than one round of this. Okay. I'm actually gonna do that. Let's see if that Ah, eh, not really. I was hoping I would sabotage some people with that one. This might be the first multiplayer game we win tonight. Ah! Um, hmm. What do I think other people are gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Eh. Could have been worse. I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Uh, we want to protect our stuff, so let's do that. That was okay. Mm. Ah, rats. Oh, that wasn't so bad, actually. Let's try that. Yeah. How'd we do? Yeah, we won that. Oh, we actually tied that one. Wild. <laughs> Love these sound effects. Yeah, blue won that one, I think. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're probably not winning this one, but we might squeak out a second place here? Maybe? I believe no in pun you. intended? Oof. I don't think it's... Not this time. All right. Well, hey. 
Alright, uh, four player. Go! Alright, we actually got a couple people in here. Uh, sorry, critters. Looks like, uh, we got four for this one. I don't have it in me to kick anyone out. I'm not going to get over the sound effects. Oh, I wanted to be pink. I guess player one's always red, so... If I want to be pink, I shouldn't I shouldn't make the server. Huh, let's try... here? A little bit risky, but... Actually, that worked out okay for us. Yeah. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah, that was a good choice. Um, let's try that. We might get blown out here. Let's see. Hey, that's two in a row. We're doing all right. Um, hmm. How do? <laughs> Sweet. Sorry, number one. Uh, let's do that. Maybe? Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, we tied. Nice. We are, we are doing really well this time. feeling no one else was going to be over there. Let's just do that. That might actually be... That might not be the right choice. We'll see. Yeah. I could have done better. Still on the lead, though. Still a healthy lead. Um, hmm, let's do that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, there? Maybe? I don't know, I just kind of, I just kind of picked that spot. I wasn't even really thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Can't, can't take my eye off the ball. I've, I've been I've been a little too little too relaxed these past couple of rounds. I gotta I gotta step up my game. Really really think about what I'm doing. Um, folks are probably going for this cluster over here, so let's let's do that. No, I was wrong. No one really went for that cluster. I'll make you bet they go for it this time though. Uh, in which case, I. That's actually gonna be the play here. Let's see. Yeah, that worked out okay for us. <laughs> Next, are you gonna do a radio show? I don't actually. Uh, I don't know if the radio is still even really a thing uh, here anymore. Is it? <laughs> My defense, it's my first time. Ah oh, man. Oof. We really got undercut there. I don't know. I don't know how that even worked. Hmm. Boy. How does any of this work? Um. I, I don't know. Let's do that. 
Mm, I mean, no one's gonna contest us there, so that's something. Sometimes, sometimes it's not about getting a lot. Sometimes it's about getting buggles that'll be uncontested. Let's see if we can edge some out over here. Yeah, four player is difficult. Okay, that was alright. Eh, we've really lost our lead, though. Hmm. We're gonna have to do really amazing if we wanna... If we wanna pull this off. Uh, gotta be greedy. Gotta be greedy. Yeah, tell you what. So it's it's getting kind of late. I've been doing this for a little bit, so I'm I'm feeling a little tired. But Minions on Ice is a weird good time, and I would just love to knock that out. Uh, that would that would actually be a great game to end on tonight. Uh, and then let's I, I don't know. Let's do this again because this uh, I, another time because this was actually super fun. Um, sumo mode. All right, yeah, Minions on Ice sumo mode. I vaguely remember how that works, sure. Hey, look at that. We were greedy and we weren't punished. Oh, we managed to get into second place there. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us, chat. We can do it. We can win. Okay, I know it doesn't look good. I know it doesn't look good from here. But that position might actually work out for us in the long run. In the second round, we just, we just gotta be greedy. And go for go for the gold. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm actually ah. How do we do? Hey, second. You know what? That's the best we've done all night. Let's let's go do some minions on ice. Let's call it a night. Oh shoot. Uh. Looks like, uh, looks like we got a network error here. I hope that wasn't a big deal. That would be a bummer. Oh, no. Looks like it's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Stream's still going. That was just up my head. Uh, so yeah, Minions on Ice. Uh, weird, fun time. Freaking! I played this game so much. My sister actually loved this game. Yeah, this was this was her favorite game back in the day. Um, how do I? I don't know. What this is. I I shouldn't even be looking at that. I'll I'll worry about that later. Um, so I gotta pick a minion to play with, right? I'm... I'm just gonna play the first minion. I don't... I don't remember how any of these games work! Um... I guess we're waiting on me to create the game, so I will. Uh... 8 player... I'm gonna make it 12 player, just in case. We probably won't get there. Sumo mode... 5 points... I don't remember if that's... I, I, I'm actually not sure how many points this should be. We'll play a couple of rounds of this, I assume. So let's let's just make it five points so it's not too long. Uh, let's do that. And tell you what, let's actually... Can I... Hey, everybody. Look at this. Um, wow, let's just give it a... Let's just start. This is awesome. This is this is actually great. I love this. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get the game started. <laughs> I 
I actually already did some desktop tower defense. I'm thinking, whoa, okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't remember how this game works. No! It's okay, we'll respawn in seven seconds. Neither have I. It's also been a decade for me. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit. Nobody, nobody shoot me. Nobody shoot me. Okay, 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 okay. Get him, get him. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I came in fourth. That was really fast. Okay, let's let's do a we'll do another game. Let's do uh, fifteen points this time because that that happened really fast. Uh, oh, you know what? I did. I'm sorry. I did an eleven map. Um, All right, one second. I did the wrong game mode. Um, sumo, 12 player, just in case, 15 points, ba-bam. Okay. Better. All right, we'll wait around for a couple, couple of seconds just to see if uh, we get some more people in. Sweet. Look at this. Look at everyone. Hi, how's it going? It is a party. Um, sweet. Let's, let's, let's get started. Let's get her started. Guys, this is super fun. I'm loving this. This is great. Okay, stay in the ring. Stay in the ring. Ah, no! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so you can follow you can follow the scores over here. Uh, hang on, I actually I want to zoom in on the browser. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Uh, no, 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 no! All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. I would love to grab any of these upgrades, any of them. Okay, come on. I think I remember this one. It's like a stun grenade or something. It's a mortar. It's a mortar. Okay. I remember how to use this. Mortars are devastating if you can land them right. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah! Got him! All right. Amok. Okay. I don't, Amok, I don't know if you're in the... I don't know if you're in the Twitch chat, but the idea is you want to push people out of the ring... Uh, using your minion, and you want to stay in the ring as much as as long as possible. We're playing to fifteen, so you got you got some time to figure this out. Um, left click for your movement. Uh, use one, two, and three for your abilities. Uh, actually, just one and two. One is your basic standard ability. Two is whatever item you happen to pick up. Um, and just experiment around and try and stay in the stay in the ring and knock other people out. Uh, it cares about last hit. I, I remember that much. It cares whoever whoever did the last hit before the person gets knocked out gets the point. Uh, so also you just KO'd me. So you know what? I'm 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 through I'm through explaining things and being nice to you. I'm just kidding. I'll always be nice. Oh no! Oh no! I I thought he was out. I thought he was out. Ah! I let it go. I let critters go. Could have knocked. Could have knocked them out. And I did not. Always go for the kill. Hey, I lost hit. Did I? I think I lost. No, I did not last hit. We're we're actually in seventh place right now. We are doing the worst of everyone. Okay, so missile is a homing thing. That's a guaranteed hit. But uh, if they're clever, they can kind of use the momentum to spin themselves around and survive. So we want to be careful with that one. Um, we really only want to use the missile if uh, we think it's going to finish someone off. Like that. Nope. Ah, oh, darn it. Amok left. Damn it. That's too bad. Maybe 15 points was a little long. That's okay. I'm having fun. Ah! <laughs> oh, 
wasn't fair. Uh, all right, well, we got a stun bolt here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, I really thought we could take advantage of that. Wow. Critters was just devastating there. Oh, for a second there, I was wondering where everyone went. Okay. Um. Psh, no! Stay alive, stay alive! <laughs> uh, number one's got us dead to rights here. Oh no, please no. Oh no, please no. Oh no! Sixth. We did better than the guy who left. Alright. Um... I think as far as streaming is concerned, that's going to do it for us tonight. Um, this was super fun. I loved this. This was great. Um, I'm going to do this again, like another another night, I think. Um, if you guys want, I'll, I'll, I'll be on for like another 30 minutes or so to keep playing some games with y'all because this has been super fun. But uh, at least as far as the stream is concerned, I think I think that's going to do it for tonight. Um but thank you all so much. I was recording this, so, you know, I'll throw this up on my YouTube um, in a little bit. Um, probably just raw, unedited. Um, thank you all for joining me in the chat and everything. This was super sweet. I'll do it again at some other time. It's, uh, probably soon. It's not like it's we're in quarantine right now, so it's not like I'm going to be doing anything else, right? Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope to see you all again. Um, good night. <laughs>